Joanne, I would like to pay you the highest compliment. You are a pain in the butt to evaluate. Yes. <laughs> but I've decided to take that challenge and I'm going to keep it simple. I want to share with you where you put it down and a couple of areas where you might be able to pick it up as far as the speech goes. First of all, your vocal variety is amazing. Everywhere from starting off in your story in kind of a light mode, ta-da with the kid, popping out on their big movement, uh, moving over here in the C train, ah, before you get run over. And those are the easy bits to evaluate in vocal variety, that kind of the shouts, the loud moments. But you also had softer moments in telling your story. You do a great job with the pause. Have you ever had an important moment in your life that you've missed? Whoa. Reminded me of all my guilty parent moments. These were all very powerful, and the way you weave the story was very good, I thought, in terms of the organization and staying with that theme. You put it down in a very powerful way. In terms of picking it up, only a few recommendations. You mentioned people getting on the bus, and I liked how you were moving a little bit this way, and I thought more and more people could be in a bigger motion. You did a kind of a small motion as more and more people are going, maybe make that a bigger motion because you're building up to a bigger message of everyone coming together. On a very minor note, in terms of language, you use you see twice to start a sentence. You see. I find as speakers, I know I have my words that are go-to words. I think maybe those are some go-to words for you that you can look at how you use those and perhaps remove them as unnecessary. And lastly, I would say your speech title is wonderful. Put it down. There may be some potential in your speech to use that phrase repetitively to build momentum on that message. Overall, phenomenal speech. It was a pleasure to watch you. I thank you for speaking to us tonight.